students uh, we are going to move to example number one in example number one says that we have water which is at 20 degree centigrade flows with an average velocity of 2 cm per second inside a circular pipe determine the flow type if the pipe diameter is 2 cm 15 cm and 30 cm so they want to know whether this flow is laminar transition or turbulent <coughs> so first thing is first we need to see what is given so the temperature is at 20 degree centigrade centigrade we need to see uh, what is the density of water from this table number a3 so density of water at 20 degree centigrade <coughs> is uh, 998 kilogram per meter cube then we need to see what is the uh, viscosity <coughs> so the viscosity if we look here then we can see that the viscosity then the viscosity mu is 1.002 tens and minus 3 kilogram per meter second <coughs> so 1.002 into 10 x uh, minus 3 kilogram per meter dot second <coughs> so part 1 says since we know Reynolds number is equals to rho v d over mu so density is 998 multiplied by the velocity is uh, 2 centimeter so we need to convert 2 centimeter into meter that would be around uh, uh, divided by 100 so 0 0.02 so 0 0.02 <coughs> multiply by the diameter of the pipe if it is 2 centimeter this is also equal to 0 0.02 whole divided by 1.002 into 10 exponent minus 3 so re for party comes out to be 398 now this 398 is less than 20 uh, 300 the range at which the flow becomes a landmark so since it is less than 2300 so we say this is lunar flow so i will leave the second part for you guys to solve we move to c so re is equals to 998 multiplied by 0 0.02 multiplied by 30 centimeter means 0 0.3 whole divided by 1.002 10 exponent minus 3 and this is comes out to be 5970 and this is how much <laughs> this is turbulent so this is how we can determine the type of flow whether it is laminar or turbulent based on the calculation of Reynolds number we are going to move to example number 2 <coughs> Here the, again the water is flowing at 20 degrees centigrade in a circular pipe having a diameter of 3.5 cm. Determine the range for average velocity so that the flow is always in transition of flow. So we need to know the range of velocity, average velocity V average range. So the range is minimum and the V average range is maximum. Because Reynolds number RE in transition flow is between 2300 and uh, 4000 so it means this is the minimum and this is the maximum <coughs> so we need to use these values so re minimum is equals to 2300 this is equals to rho v average into t over mu <coughs> Now since the density and uh, the temperature is 20 degrees centigrade so the density which we found out in the previous numerical is same and same as the viscosity. <coughs> so this implies that uh, velocity average minimum comes out to be 2300 multiplied by 0 0.001002 whole divided by 998 multiplied by the diameter, the diameter 33.5 divided by 100 this comes out to be 0 0.066 meter per second now to calculate the uh, maximum uh, re max we will use 4000 okay so based on this uh, you can get the answer v average max for 4000 re comes out to be 0 0.115 meter per second so students we are going to do the last example for this Reynolds number and here we can see that the air enters at 35 degrees centigrade 
flow inside a rectangular pipe so we have got a rectangular pipe it's not a pipe I think it's a duct and it's uh, 2 centimeter by 5 centimeter determine the maximum flow velocity <coughs> so they want V average max they want this value before the flow enters the transition region so since we have got laminar region transition region and uh, turbulent region so before the flow enters so this is before the flow enters transition means that it is laminar so we are going to use the maximum value of Reynolds number for laminar and the maximum value for Reynolds number for laminar is 2300 so the flow will remain laminar until it is 2300 and at this maximum value of re we are going to get maximum average velocity so let's put uh, this in the equation so since Reynolds number is equals to rho v average uh, d over mu but here you can see that this is a rectangle and for rectangle we need to use hydraulic diameter so i am going to add here h this is hydraulic diameter so hydraulic diameter dh is equals to 4 times area square so 4 times the area divided by the parameter so this comes out to be 4 multiplied by 2 centimeter is 0 0.02 and uh, 0 0.05 whole divided by 2 times 0 0.02 plus 2 0.05 so our hydraulic diameter comes out to be 0.029 meter so let's put this hydraulic diameter in our Reynolds number equation so since Reynolds number should always be 2300 to uh, for maximum value of laminar so 2300 is equals to V average and this is uh, hydraulic diameter 0 0.029 multiplied by <coughs> whole divided by the uh, kinematic viscosity so for here the kinematic viscosity is 1.665 into 10 to minus 5 so 1.655 into 10 x minus 5 I can write this formula in terms of dynamic viscosity and I can write this formula in terms of kinematic viscosity into h over nu okay so this comes out to be average velocity maximum until which it remains laminar before the transition uh, of the uh, fluid is 1.313 meter per second so this is your answer for the last numerical of this topic thank you for being with me